Hi, welcome to Positively Sassy. My name is Laura and I'm the owner of Positively Sassy. In a few moments, I will be teaching you how to change your negative thoughts into more positive and uplifting ones. But first, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you will know when I upload a new video. You can become a better person by changing your frame of mind, your thought patterns. This doesn't mean you're changing who you are. It just means that you want to be better. It means that you're changing and you want to change into a person you are meant to be. You'll, you will be changing into the person you are meant to be. By taking control of your thoughts, it will be easier for you to realize when you're having those negative thoughts and when to change them. Once you're able to tell the difference between a negative thought and a positive thought, it's easier to change your thought patterns, but it takes time. For example, take the thought, I hate myself, or I hate when I do that. That is a self-defeating thought. So by changing it into a more positive or realizing, first you have to realize that you you have this thought. And once you realize it, then you can change it into a more positive thought. I do this myself. So when I do this and I realize, oh, you know what? I should be talking that way about myself. I hate when I do that, but I do know I'm a strong and I'm an independent person and I could do better than that. I will do better than that. I could be better than this. I will get through this. The, the different interactions or situations and everybody's thought patterns are different. But if you want to be a better person or become the person you're meant to be, first you have to change your thoughts. If you had a negative interaction with somebody and it's causing you to lose sleep, redirect your mind. Redirect your thoughts. You can't sleep because of this situ because of the situation that's on your mind. So, what do you do? You can always watch a movie, a funny, happy movie. Make sure it makes you laugh. Because when you laugh, your body produces the happy chemical, which makes you feel, start to feel better. Physically, mentally, psych psychologically, really. You can also read a book. For those of you who are spiritual, you can read your Bible. You can also write your thoughts down. Write those negative or the situation down that happened. Write your thoughts and your feelings down. Get it out of your head. Write it down on a piece of paper. So there, there it is. Push it away. Okay. That way, is when you, if you do read a book or you watch a movie and you finally go back to sleep, those thoughts won't come back to your mind because you wrote them down. Now, if they do happen to come back, again, just write, keep writing down your thoughts. Keep writing it down. Now, when you write your thoughts down, put it away. Put it in a book, put it away. If you don't want to keep it, then burn it. You don't want to go and give this piece of paper where of your thoughts and your feelings and everything to the person that you had the interaction with. That itself is self-defeating. Not only is it self-defeating to them, but it's also to you. This is because when you criticize somebody else, it doesn't make them feel any better and it won't change their mind. You're writing these thoughts and the interaction from your mind down to make yourself feel better. There's no reason why to make them feel any worse or try to change their mind when they're not going to. You're not going to get anything with negative interactions. All you're going to do is get more negativity. You get more with honey than you do with wine. So being understanding, being kind, saving face is better than attacking back fighting with the person, criticizing the person, condemning the person. Because when you condemn somebody, you're not going to change them. You're just going to make them feel even worse. If you like this video, hit the like button. You guys have a great day. I love you, and I will be back tomorrow.